What's up guys? Welcome back to Study Money. This is Marco and today we'll talk about a simple habit that I've learned throughout the years and it's about unplugging and turning stuff off. Okay, now I want you to know that when you keep your appliances plugged in, kahit hindi ginagamit, still consuming energy and at the same time costing you money in terms of your electrical bills. So if you would like to learn more about this good stuff that I'm about to share to you, this stupid tip that I'm about to share to you, stay tuned and watch this video. Okay guys, welcome back. So here's another tipid tip that we're gonna talk about and it's about unplugging or turning off items that you don't use. Turning off appliances that you don't use. Okay, so maybe it's common sense to turn off um, appliances that you don't actually use. Pero ang dami kong napapansin ano, na mga kakilala ko na hindi ko turn off and this is nothing against them okay but I guess this is just me whenever I notice it um, I have the tendency to turn it off for them but it's not my home so I don't have the right to do it but when I'm here at my house okay pag may ilaw dyan na hindi ginagamit I turn it off if there's a fan there that's working and no one's using it I turn it off if there's you know if my computer is running and there's really nothing going on I turn it off kung lalabas na ako and I have to bring my kids to school and you know there's nobody watching TV I turn it off I turn off my computer um, kung walang gumagamit ng ilaw sa kwarto sa banyo I turn it off if I'm going to leave my monitor if I'm going to leave home I turn off what I can turn off lights fan AC etc okay now why do I do that well I've actually compared and I've studied myself many times before I've compared my electricity bills from the many months that I've been turning off to the many months that I have not been turning off and surprisingly it's a huge disparity I mean again kagaya na sinabi ko common sense, diba? But there's also another thing that I've learned throughout the many years of turning off and exploring the side of saving money when I was starting my financial journey. And it was unplugging stuff. Now, mind you, kahit nakapatay yung mga appliances ninyo, okay, kumukonsumo pa rin yan ng electricity. Just look at your extension cord. Kung meron yung LED bulb, Okay, I know it's not going to consume so much energy, but if you have all these things lying around in your house and pile it on top of each other, how much that does actual how much does it actually cost you? Okay, how much electricity is being consumed by units that are plugged? Okay? Napakadali mo kang plug, 'di ba? Hugutin mo lang, wala pang isang segundo tanggal 'yan eh. So, it's a matter of habit. Okay? And I started teaching my kids to turn off stuff and unplug stuff. Kapag lalabas sila ng kwarto nila, okay, I asked them to turn off the light, please, and turn off the fan, please, and also unplug the fan, okay? I'm teaching them to build the habit of being conscious in terms of electricity consumption. Kasi alam ko, pagtanda nila, lalaki rin yung mga yan eh. Magkakaroon rin yung mga sarili-sarili nilang pamilya, magkakaroon din yan ng sarili-sarili nilang mga tahanan, di ba? And they're eventually going to realize that, oh, I need to pay for electricity bills. And why are my electricity bills so high and expensive? Well, you need to learn to turn off and unplug. Simply lang. Napakadali Napakadaling yan. Okay? I don't have the math right now in terms of how many appliances I unplug on a day to day basis. Pero ito lang, example. Before I sleep, I turn off my modem. Okay? I don't use the internet when I sleep. What's the use? So, I turn it off and I unplug. Okay? And when I wake up first thing in the morning, I plug it in and I turn on the modem. So, simple lang naman, di ba? It doesn't hurt to unplug. It doesn't hurt to turn off either. So, 
This will help you eventually to lower down your electricity consumption, therefore lowering down your monthly expenses when it comes to your electricity bills. So guys, I hope that you like this stupid tip today. And if you do, hit the thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, write it down in the comment section below. And if you have not already, subscribe to this channel. Ring that bell so that you get updates of all the things that relates to mastering your finances. From saving money, to paying off debts, to starting a business, to stock investing, and exploring other valuable investments out there. So hit that bell right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.